Hello and a very warm welcome to World This Week by Latest Laws. This is our weekly program, so subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified. My name is Monica Rahar and let's get started by having a look at Supreme Court this week. While extending its support on the ban of firecrackers in view of the COVID-19 situation, the Apex Court has dismissed a petition against such a ban imposed in West Bengal during the ongoing festival season, including on the festival of Diwali. The top court has granted interim bail to Republic TV editor-in-chief Arnav Goswami, who was arrested last week in connection with the 2018 abatement to suicide case on furnishing of a bond of Rs 50,000. The court has also asked the High Court to exercise their jurisdiction to uphold personal liberty. Anav Goswami has also filed an anticipatory bail application before the Sessions Court Mumbai, apprehensive of an arrest in an FIR registered against him and his family members for allegedly assaulting a woman police officer while he was being arrested from his house on November 4. Attorney General K.K. Venugopal has given his consent to initiate contempt of pros- court proceedings in response to a letter petition by a lawyer against Kunal Kamra over his tweets in which he lashed out at Supreme Court after grant of interim bail to Anav Goswami. Kamra has mentioned Honorable Justice D.Y. Chandrachud as a flight attendant serving champagne to first-class passengers after their fast track through, while commoners don't know if they'll ever be boarded or seated, let alone served. This is one of the tweets, while three other po- tweets are also challenged in this letter petition. The Honorable Apex Court has issued circular warning advocates on record and pers- in-person petitioners against violation of standard operating procedure and sharing of video conference links to virtual court hearings in an unauthorized manner. The court has asked for major changes in how cases against sitting and ex-lawmakers are heard, putting a bar on unnecessary adjournments or indefinite stay in pending criminal trials and considering to offer protection even without a formal request to all witnesses. Honorable Justice N. V. Ramana congratulated the legal aid functionaries for their sincere dedication on the 25th National Legal Services Day. Honorable Justice stated, Today is a historic day in the legal aid movement of India. This year marks the completion of 25 years since the establishment of the National Legal Services Authority. In recent times, we have faced numerous challenges due to the COVID-19 situation. But with the help of all of you, with innovative ideas, we attempted to overcome these problems. A plea has been filed in the Apex Court challenging 2018 October draft notification which was issued by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change relating to the demarcation of 56,825 square kilometer as the Western Ghats ecologically sensitive area. Now let's proceed to the next segment of our news analysis and have a look at the Delhi High Court this week. A contempt plea has been moved in the High Court against Delhi Chief Secretary, Secretary of Ministry of Home and Family Welfare, Director General of Health Services and the Indian Council for Medical Research for allegedly not complying with the court order to take action against illegal online health service aggregators which are operating in Delhi and also to regulate online pathological labs. The High Court has sought status report from Special Cell of Delhi Police on bail application of freelance journalist Rajiv Sharma who was arrested in an espionage case under the Official Secrets Act. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has moved the High Court challenging summons which were issued to him in a defamation complaint filed by BJP leader Karan Singh under challenge before the High Court is an order which is dated October 3, 2020 of a Sessions Court whereby Kejriwal's plea against a Magisterial Court's July 2019 order summoning him and three AAP leaders was dismissed. The High Court has vacated a stay which was imposed by a single judge bench on the Delhi government's order on the reservation of 18% ICU beds in 33 private hospitals for COVID-19 patients. 
the court has issued summons and notice to Republic TV, Times Now and others on a suit filed by Bollywood filmmakers seeking direction to refrain, the, to refrain these channels from making irresponsible derogatory and defamatory remarks against Bollywood as a whole and for conducting media trials of Bollywood personalities. The court also issued notice on a plea challenging appointment of special public prosecutors including Solicitor General Tushar Mehta in cases pertaining to North East Delhi riots, adding that the matter would require a response from state authorities, which are concerned. The court has issued notices to several media houses and journalists over their coverage of Bollywood actor Sushant Singh Rajput's death case. Now let's proceed and have a look at an update which is coming from the Madras High Court. The court came down seriously or heavily on a former High Court judge named C.S. Karnan for making adverse remarks against the Supreme Court judges and judicial staff. The High Court has ordered the state to respond on a plea moved by the Bar Council of India seeking interim relief to block derogatory videos which were uploaded online by the former judge. Now let's move on to the Gujarat High Court. The Gujarat High Court has quashed and set aside a sedition case which was registered against a journalist for writing an article suggesting that CM Vijay Rupani might be replaced over his failure to handle the COVID-19 situation in the state after he tendered an unconditional apology. Now let's proceed to the Madhya Pradesh High Court. The High Court has dismissed a plea by TV producer Ekta Kapoor seeking quashing of an FIR against her for alleged objectionable content in a web series. Now let's proceed with the miscellaneous segment of our news analysis. The Competition Commission of India has ordered a detailed probe against Google for abuse of its dominant position primarily with regard to its digital payment application which is called GPay. A Delhi court has directed the Economic Offences Wing of the Delhi Police to register an FIR against the Delhi Sikh Gurudwara Management Committee President on a complaint accusing him of causing wrongful loss of over Rs 65 lakhs to the committee. The National Green Tribunal has imposed a complete ban on firecrackers in the Delhi NCR region from November 9 till November 30th. Ex-Union Minister M.J. Akbar has submitted before a Delhi court that the statement made against him by journalist Priya Ramani, these were defamatory and these were widely disseminated, thus lowering his reputation. The government has brought OTT platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime Videos and Disney Plus Hotstar, besides other news, online news and current affairs content under the ambit of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, giving it powers to regulate policies and rules for the digital space. The government has issued a notice to microblogging site Twitter for showing Leh as a part of Jammu and Kashmir instead of the Union Territory of Ladakh. That's all we have for this week. The link of all these news updates are available in the description box for your kind approval. Also, on this auspicious day of Diwali, the festival of light, latest laws would like to wish all of you a very happy Diwali. May this festival bring joy, prosperity and light of wisdom and knowledge for all of us. Thank you for being with us and a very happy Diwali once again.